Hi everyone, welcome. It's Tammy with Lufufu Studio, and I have my little card box here, which can only mean that we're going to do the hashtag 50 Stack Challenge 2, which is a weekly prompt challenge that's being hosted by Amy with Crafty Cat, where uh, you're to make two pieces of ephemera. Um, she draws those out on Monday, and they are opposites, and you're to make one piece of ephemera for each word. So, I have been making um, altered playing cards and storing them in this little box so that I can use them for future journal projects, and um, it's been a great uh little challenge and I've really enjoyed it so far. So last week we had um, light and dark and so I went with um, two little puppy dogs here and uh, I kind of did a, a my version of a blonde and a brunette. So um, that was last week and uh, like I said, she does draw the prompts on Monday, so um, please check out her channel on Mondays for each week's prompts. And she also has a playlist uh, where you can go back and see what the previous prompts were if you want to start from the beginning. Or you can start right now. Um, it doesn't make any difference what kind of ephemera that you want to make as long as you are using the prompts you can do whatever you like if you want to do a tag if you want to do a painting if you want to do a pocket you know whatever you guys would like to do um the purpose of amy's challenge is to use up your scraps and to make ephemera for future journals so with that being said today's prompts are um together and apart. So I'm going to make a couple of cards here and I'm going to um, kind of take a two-part thought on um, the prompts. And let me get my little pieces separated here. Somehow I squished them all together. Okay, so, um, like I said, I'm using an altered playing card. These cards do not have the real slick um, surface on them, but if you did, you probably would want to take a piece of sandpaper and kind of rough those up a little bit before you started putting your paper on them. But because these do not, um, you know, I'm not going to do that part. So, I have this pocket watch here, um, which is together, and the one I'm going to put on the other one is apart. So, I'm kind of taking one, one version with the pocket watch here, and then I also have these little boys that I'm going to consider our brothers in my world. They're brothers. And then on the other one, I'm going to put just the single boy, which I think kind of looks like this little boy. And so I'm going to uh, do him as part of the apart. I hope that makes sense. All right. So, and I also have some just little scrap pieces that I'm going to use to cover the card in the I'm going to start with this little red piece here because the card's red and I'm going to get some more red elements and this is just scrapbook um paper it's Tim Holtz it's just a little bitty scrap that I had that has some red in it so I'm going to start by putting it right up here in the corner And I hope you guys can see okay today. It's raining here. And whenever it rains, I have to turn on more overhead lights in order for me to have enough light to film and 
that cast shadows and so that's why I have this big black piece of paper over here to try to keep some of the glare from the overhead lights and hopefully not have too many shadows being cast on what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm going to leave the tin exposed at the bottom. Actually, I'm going to put on my little tab before I put down my pocket watch. I love pocket watches. I collect them. I have, my dad gave me several that work um, my grandfather's and my great uncle's and my great grandfather's. And um, so whenever I go, I have those. And then whenever I go um, antiquing or whatever, I always look for pocket watches for anything to do with clocks or watches or any time pieces like that, so. They're kind of one of my favorite things. I think I want that about right there. And I am using art glitter glue today instead of my glue stick because I'm not doing anything to prep the card. Just to be extra sure that everything is going to stick like I want it to. Okay, let's ink our little guys here. And I'm gonna have him kind of propped up on the hands of the clock or the center of the clock and I think I want this little tag here trim it up just a little bit ink it up so I hope everybody is having a good Friday like I said it is raining here it seems like it rains every Friday But it is what it is, right? I'm sure that when the summer gets here, we'll be begging for rain. My husband doesn't like it as much when we get a lot of rain because he has to mow more. <clears throat> I'm going to take this little red label and put, I think, right here behind their head. Just for another red element. And then I'm going to take this number two and just put it over here just for another kind of embellishment. Do I want it there or do I want it closer? I think I want it about right there. And these uh, numbers I got from Amy at Crafty Cat as well. She cuts them out on her Glowforge and sells them in her Etsy shop. And if she does not have any, if you will let her know that you would like some, she'll be glad to cut them for you. 
Oh, and one more thing I want to get while I'm thinking about it. I believe they're in this box. They are. Um, these are... I'll move it up so you can see. This is an old pastel box that I found on eBay. And I covered it with some Tim Holtz tissue paper. But it holds... All kinds of little bits and goodies and in this case I have keys in here that I also got from Amy that she cuts out on her Glowforge. It's got some other little things in it too but the main thing in here is keys and I want to find a key. I think I need a black one. A little black one that kind of looks like a key for a pocket watch. So we're going to look at some of the smaller black ones here. Let's see if we can find one. These are so cool and delicate. You can see, I mean, some of them are just really delicate. I love them. And she does, um, does them out of her rust paper, and then she also does them in black. So, you can see, that one looks like a butterfly. So, they're really cool as well. And, um, I had asked her to cut these because I love to use keys, but as you know, real keys cause a lot of um, bulk in your journal, and so that one's the same. Um, these are perfect because they are just die cuts, and so you can use them in your journal and not bulk it all up. Oh, I like that one, too. That one's really delicate. It may not. No, that one's not going to show up. So, let's go with the one I have, I think. So, do I want it this way? Like that, I think. We definitely want our glitter glue for this one so we can use our little fine point and get the glue on there. Okay. Get that straight. All right, let's get our little guys glued down. Oh, he needs to be down. There we go. Now I'm going to take my Stabilo All, which is just a pencil that is used to mark on glass so that it can be wiped off so it's water soluble, but it makes a great um, 
because it is water soluble and you can, you know, make a shadow or whatever. It's great for art use. want to put a little shadow under their feet there so it doesn't look like they're floating away. All right, so let's ink all the way around it. So what are you guys working on these days as we're about to get into spring? I'm working on, I have my, my two custom journals are with their new owners. And so I am now going to finish up the farm journal. This is just a little splatter stamp. I'm gonna put some little splatters here and there. And then I have a small journal that I'm going to do kind of like a springy flower, flower garden kind of journal. And um, I'm using a digital from Joey the Card Maker for that one. So I'm real excited. It's really pretty digital and I'll show you that when we get started on it. So that is my two upcoming projects. All right, now let's do the apart. And like I said, I'm gonna use this stamp. This is a Tim Holtz stamp, by the way. Um, this one is not, and I'm not sure who um, this one is. Because it's a clear stamp. It could be Tim Holtz in his clear stamps that he does exclusively for Joanne. So I'm not going to say that it isn't. But um, I don't know that for sure. So, alright. And I'm going to put this piece down here. And this time we're going to leave our red at the top. So let's put this piece on first and trim it. Get up some. I've got my camera zoomed in a little bit to try to keep the glare down. So I'm trying to remind myself I need to be a little bit higher on my glass mat. Trim that. Okay, and then we're going to put this piece down. About right there. Before I do that, I want to be... <laughs> I don't know if you can see me, but I like halted. Wait a minute, I'm forgetting something. Um, I'm going to use these... Put this cog up underneath here. And again, those are from Amy. Um, she has them in her shop. All right, so I wanna put this down first. And they're um, all different sizes and uh, shapes in their the ones I got are made out of her rusty paper. So they have, you know, they look like they're rusted. So, and then I think I want this one up here. Maybe there. I want that on the same side. 
Hmm. I think I want it there, but I think I'm going to tear a little bit off this corner. So I'm going to glue that one down up in that top corner. And then I'm going to glue my tab on. And I glue these on ahead of time because I don't like, um, I don't like this straight line to show on top of what I'm doing. I would rather it, you know, be underneath. That's, that's the only reason that I glue it down first. All right, so we'll get this on now. Okay, now for this one, I have just a little red tag that's a Tim Holtz little label, and I've got this little feller who's lost his little brother. It's probably out playing video games or something, right? And I'm going to put this little six right here because that's where the six would be thereabouts on the clock. Put this here behind his head. Just to kind of separate him out. Then I've got this cog that I'm going to put about right there, I think. And I have this little London. I think I want to put, actually I'm going to switch those. I'm going to put the London up here. And I'm going to put the red down here. Yeah. Okay. Now, can we get this all glued together? Now we have it. That would be good. Oops, six stuck to my fingers.
Okay, we get this on there. Number six. And we'll get him glued down. Okay, again, I'm going to ink around the whole card. Let me trim my little hangy bits here. And you don't have to ink. It's personal preference. I just prefer the more vintage, kind of grungy look. So that's why I do it. But you definitely... You know, can invoke your own style and whatever you're working on. Because if you don't like it, then you're not going to like, you know, what you're doing. And you're not going to enjoy making. And so the whole purpose is to enjoy journaling and what you're making. And so, you know, don't try to copy somebody else's style if you if that is not your style um you know that could these could be just as easily made in a cleaner version and not so vintagey and um and still look just as good so there we have it we have together with our two little brothers here in our pocket watch that is fully assembled and then we have a part which is one of the brothers in our pocket watch taken apart. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will see you guys back on Thursday for, I saw it on Pinterest. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. I will see you back tomorrow. We're going to make some uh, corner pockets for the farm journal. So I hope you'll, join me for that and if you haven't subscribed already please do so so you don't miss uh any of the upcoming videos and tutorials for your journal making and i hope you guys continue to have a great day and a great weekend and i'll see you tomorrow bye